What's good, guys? It's that front of one. My Phoenix hit. I'm about to make a new video for y'all today. It's not a comparison of Xenoverse 2 and Fighters because, like, these games really should not be compared or brought up into the same subject as each other. Considering that the fact that their only similarity, in all honesty, is the fact that they're both Dragon Ball games. One of them is a 3D arena fighter, and one of them is a 3v3 2D.5 fighter. So, yes, and, and, both, and both, right? Both games are in a general consensus a fighting game. Now, what you consider a more traditional fighting game, and actually, in all honesty, um, a 3v3 games are not as traditional as you may think. 1v1, 2D games are way more traditional, but that's another, that is another topic, but yes i prefer to use the term traditional more than real because real is not that is not the definition of real because you can't say that something is a fake fighting game that doesn't even sound right i mean as long as somebody's really throwing punches i mean how is it not a fighting game i mean you can generally agree that it's not a traditional fighting game and that the mechanics work fundamentally different than a traditional fighting game does but nonetheless it's still a fighting game at the end of the day and i'll have some clips of fighters in the background not to compare but just to show the difference in uh gameplay you know since you know everybody was like you know this game is like i want to say this game is trash or it takes no skill or they basically make it seem like oh they can just hop on here and just whoop anybody ass and i'm just like yeah that's not gonna happen because the person that's in this video yeah he has fighters and he 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 thought that he was gonna get on xenoverse and beat me um and i had to like 16 oh that man so yeah i don't know if anybody else want to hop on xenoverse you know uh <clears throat> fight me you know we could do some cast battles we could do some cac but I don't have a problem with that. I'll fight you in uh, Fighters too. I'm not too good at that game. I don't play that game very often. And honestly, the gameplay that y'all see me uh, produce recently is with a broken controller. So, yeah. I I've been fighting niggas with a broken controller. My analog stick don't work properly. And I'm missing my R2 button. So, take that as what you will. And, yeah. But... <laughs> people don't and people don't understand the big improvement from xenoverse one to two and everything you know i remember when cast couldn't even compete with a cac but now they can regardless of the presets if you play it right and if you're good enough at the game but um in fighters that the game has a big skill gap uh, i will definitely say that and i will definitely say that it's definitely bigger than xenoverse two but they say that Xenoverse 2 takes no skill at all. You gotta be crazy. I didn't know that there was really any games that take no skill. Or that there's no such thing as a top tier player. in even a game that takes you know a lesser skill than another one. Because we all know, I can definitely agree that Fighters takes more skill than Xenoverse. That's, that's perfectly fine. We can all agree to that common... <clears throat> that common um, statement that, that is like to be said by a lot of people but I'm pretty sure the majority of the people that play fighters if they wish to come on Xenoverse at least at first or for the most of the time that they're on this game I doubt they would be able to beat me and we all know that games function offline for the most part but then they do online because even on even like with frame delays and things like that in fighters it definitely i could de it definitely feels different sometimes but not too differently um xenoverse for a whole it does feel like a almost a completely different game sometimes online but in some in some aspects i actually like that because it makes certain combos that are not normally possible offline possible online usually concerning people's character um characters combo strings so yeah <clears throat> but me i'm i'm still trying to get better at fighters i don't play this game as much i think i've only put about maybe 30 hours into the game mm, mm, probably a lot less than that i'm i'm really lying but um i i usually i just don't play the, the game as much i mean it's fun 
But um, I would like to be able to play my friends more, but that barely ever happens. So I really could connect to ring matches, and I haven't been able to do an arena match. I get disconnected a lot from ranked match, so right now I, I don't really like it. Like, in my opinion, I, I've never been disconnected so much from a video game before. Like, even in Xenoverse, I've never been disconnected like this in Xenoverse. The lobby would break, I remake the lobby, and I usually start fighting. I don't get disconnected back to back to back to back. Like, and I don't really get disconnected during a fight. I never really been disconnected during a fight in Xenoverse for the most part. But in this, is this is a different story. I mean, the spiders is a different story. But like, I, I think both games have pretty good mechanics. Um... I think that fighters and mechanics are definitely superior as a fighting game, but I don't think Xenoverse 2 could mechanics should be slept on either. But the only thing I don't like is the fact that auto combos have a lot of tracking, and I do due to the fact that they don't want you to mess up the combo at in any shape or form, so it, they drag you towards your opponent like my friend Sly has said, and I see that because uh, especially with Blue Goku, like he literally just turns mid combo and just like does an overhead and immediately but um yeah so I mean no I mean that's not too bad but I just don't think a game that has no iframes shouldn't have tracking like, a game that doesn't really have iframes and deals on spacing your opponent out and effectively pressuring your opponent and knowing when to block um, standing or um, low because there are no such thing as a high block in it. There's no such thing as a high block in this game. So, yeah. And the, the perfect. The, yeah. The blocking system with Xenoverse is completely different. It's more of a you slide off of guards, you just guard things, and you can cancel out your guard animation with another guard, with another step in guard animation. Which is not completely unpunishable as people may think. It's just that actually some people are better at doing that than others. Like Loki Turtles is definitely way better at using his defense than I am. I am not a defensive player in uh, Xenoverse. I am definitely a, a more of an offensive player. And that is fine at this point. I've already accepted that. At the beginning of the game, I did not. Um, and me, I have, a I have difficulties fighting hits in this game <laughs> ironically because that his dashing his dashing with the triangle and he has a really good neutral game off the ground like so i really have a uh, difficulty dealing with that but you know that's 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 really just i need to get fucking better at this game i could definitely agree with that but uh you know i just wish people would stop hating on this game as much as they do because me and my personal opinion, I don't hate on fighters. I think it's a pretty good game. That auto combo video that y'all saw me upload was not in any way, shape, or form to bash fighters. That it is still a good game. I'm just saying you can utilize auto combos to get off easy 5.5k damage. And that is um, with about 2-3 to three bars a meter. And that is not hard to do in this game considering the fact that you get meter from simply approaching your opponent. As you can see right there, and you get quite a bit of meter from approaching your opponent, and you get quite a bit of meter for each punch that you land. So you uh, you approach and you know play your cards right. You can get your um, plenty of meter off of simply approaching your opponent and backing up and things like that. So I mean, that, I don't really see that in a lot of fighting games where you can get meter off of simply approaching. So I mean, yeah. You know, take it as what you will. But this is definitely, I definitely think that both two very good games and the home. And both the aspects, and you got, and a lot of people don't understand is that Fighters is had a general template for what they were going for with this game. It's not the first game of its kind. Alright, they already have different games that are very similar to it, like a lot of people compare it to Marvel vs. Capcom. I wouldn't say Infinite, I would say Marvel vs. Capcom 3, since that was the better game. We're not going to go into that. But, um, you know, and other 3v3 fighting games. <clears throat> but, and the fact that also that, um, 
um, Arc System Works has generally worked on different fighting games of this magnitude, but probably not for this grand of scale, because I don't think they expected as much people to play that game. Just considering how, how the servers handle the volume of players that play this game. So, but as you can see, and also you can go online, a lot of fighting games um, player bases uh, who play the game drops usually about 80% after a month or two. Fighters has already dropped in two weeks uh, how much people play this game. I believe Tekken lasted about two to three months before people stopped playing that game. So that should tell you that, like the difference. And you can't say anything about a franchise because it's Dragon Ball. I mean, this is a it's a bit pretty big franchise. This is not the first 2D game that um that is with Dragon Ball or underneath the Dragon Ball name. So it's not really something that's new honestly like um this even compared to other 3d games i guess like uh, tenkaichi and stuff like that rage of blast xenoverse is going for something different that's why the hitboxes work differently and how hits connect online but uh at people who talk about key stunning must have forgot that in rage and blast that you could key stun too but that was never a complaint in that game for what reason? I have no idea. But you can definitely keep stunning that game. Then the key blasts were much faster in Rage and Blast than it was in Xenoverse. Well, then it is in Xenoverse. Because it's not a past tense. But, um. I, me, in my opinion, I definitely think that both are great Dragon Ball games. I. People talk about you don't get the Dragon. You get more of a Dragon Ball feel from Xen. Um from fighters but I have to disagree with that because once you really play Xenoverse for what it is and you utilize all the guard cancels key cancels um, step cancels debates <clears throat> the continuous combos psyching your opponent out <clears throat> you know the flashy combos the damage combos the continuations you know all of that the perfect blocks the blocking system I really feel like this game feels more like Dragon Ball Z esque or Dragon Ball esque in a whole sense than Fighters because you and um in Dragon Ball you don't stay in a 2D plane and fight you know you fly you do all your, all your combat go everywhere I think the game that that captured Dragon Ball fighting the most or the best was probably was Tenkaichi or Rage and Blast I mean, in my opinion Rage and Blast probably ca captures you know um, uh, the fighting aspect of Dragon Ball fighting way better than any other um, game for Dragon Ball including fighters I think Rage and Blast captured it way better for at least for the Dragon Ball fans that wanted to really feel like they was playing Dragon Ball this is different you let you create your own character now if they brought if they combine like something like um raging blast and xenoverse 2 like if they combine the similar mechanics of those think of the of those games i think that would be really amazing like a xenoverse 2 and raging blast 2 like hybrid mix-up a little ultimate tenkaichi uh customization i think that'd be the perfect game right there and have a and like introduce more of the roster because honestly a lot of the characters in this game play a lot differently than what people would like to admit because that's because hit plays nothing like um the majin buu i mean majin buu gohan absorb tapion doesn't pay anything like turles goku and vegeta don't do not play alike do not have simpler uh similar um step cancels and things like that and I, uh, Vegeta doesn't have any guard cancels like I'm saying, so, you know, unless, you, unless you're playing with Super Saiyan 4 of Vegeta, then he has guard cancels between, like, his dash and, um, square combo, but that's, that's a whole topic for another day, but nonetheless, you know, you could, uh, everybody, you know, let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about the games, I generally enjoy them both, I think they're really fun, um, I just wish people wouldn't hate on Xenoverse now that the now that Fighters is here. I I think people who played both should enjoy both for what it is. So that's just in my opinion.
but I think both are pretty great games but everybody should expect that a lot of less people are gonna play fighters over time because it's, it is a fighting game and that's usually what happens with fighting games with um, traditional fighting games is that the player base that um, plays it is going to be a lot less because uh, due to the fact that it's just casuals and games like that truly don't fit to uh, casuals because once you get really good auto combos are not really going to help you that I mean don't get me wrong they have their place in the game even for, even for uh, high level gameplay but they're not really all that optimal damage wise and my well not in my opinion as you can clearly see but uh you know i'm in front of one uh you know try not to hate on my video too much you know because i'm discussing fighters and xenoverse uh two as a topic you know and do not take this as a comparison either because this is not a comparison i'm simply discussing what the dragon ball community and the fgc community is saying about these games like it's obvious that fighters take some more skill but don't say that xenoverse doesn't take any because this person that you see right here I, I beat his ass every single time we fought and i don't think that's because of xenoverse's net code either so you, you tell me what you think and i mean arguably the man blocks way more than me but for some reason i get more just guards than him so but that's because I'm just baiting him out to attack me. So, you know. I'm the front one. I'm out. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, background gameplay. I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Peace.